um, I'm living in a condo and and I don't have the place to put the antenna. So um, a few months back, at the beginning of the year, I uh, I spoke to a guy in Germany and he was actually using remote control radio. So um, I uh, took some information and um, off his website how you know he've done and then did some research over the internet and uh, find you know all the you know um, things what I need and then you know in the meantime I spoke to a friend of mine which he lives in Richfield he has uh, two acres property and asked him if he allows me to put the antenna so um, he said uh, of course you know I can do it so um, I just start you know my preparation and um, I really I don't want to put the tower so my installation I was searching on the Google and put the antenna on the tree um, this way you know it's gonna kind of be blended with the whole you know surrounded you know area without any you know steel and a tower um, there is a, a, a website step IR antenna which they have the installation uh, of the Yagi at 90 three feet on a pine tree somewhere in the west uh, uh, on, on the west coast uh, so um, I just looked you know for the let me see this uh, I looked for the good you know tree you know at his you know property and I came up you know with this tree so I'm gonna use you know to support my my antenna then uh, the whole antenna, after you know we trimmed the, the top of the tree, came up to 50 feet above the ground. So this is some uh, preparing the antenna. This is a three elements Yagi step IR antenna, uh, which is uh, from six meters to 40 meters. And 40 meters, it's one element. It's a single dipole, and for the all the rest of the bands. It's three elements Yagi. Um, it's all uh, electronically controlled antenna, which uh, which adjust uh, all elements to the uh, to the current frequency. So it's actually got motors in it that yes. move the it has a mo mo more. more. So it's a resonant at all, you know, whatever frequencies it's built up with. So this this came up after after um, we trimmed the trees and I put the the plate and the and the mast and did you did you climb the tree or did you get somebody to climb the tree? No, I, I, I had the lift I had the lift so uh, this is my um, installation of the hardware I put a little support and this is actually this is the view towards Europe okay this is really open you know space and there this is towards uh, to south that's the west at 50 feet so pretty much you know that was the before I installed the antenna and how did you take that picture way up there? you climbed all the way up there and took a picture of it? no no I was on the lift do you see the lift you know I was on the lift oh, it's like cherry picker yeah so this is this is the antenna so this is the antenna uh, up up at 50 feet so we had the lift and from the ground we we just you know uh, drove up to the and a quick question what did it cost to rent you the bucket truck? Uh, 900 <laughs> Lori, did you leave some branches on the tree or did you kill it well, artist, I, mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I cut them off and and uh, and and I'm gonna show you the picture you know how is it you know uh, when because this was in March uh, by the end of March, you know, I started the whole, you know, project. So, uh, this pretty much, you know, it's the remote side where I have the the radio, um, the power supply the rotator uh, control and the controller for the step IR. Last week I put the amplifier, so I do have an amplifier, 1KW amplifier at the side. And uh, that's uh, pretty much, you know, uh, how it looks. 
this is the controller for the rotator and that's the step by R controller for the um, for the antenna and this how the antenna looks you know over the over the whole you know summer so pretty much you know just uh, still you know had some branches on it um, there are a few ways of, of, of using uh, um, control uh, remote control radio and uh, you can do you know from uh, from your computer or you can do um, the way I I did which remote radio.com makes those boxes boxes this box acts as a computer so you don't need the computer on the boat you know sides because the computer tends to freeze and you have to reboot and and uh, you know, more electronic involved, the you know more uh, likely the chances it's something it's going to be, you know, uh, it's going to be a problem. So the remote uh, rig that can makes those boxes, and uh, there is a one box at my remote side, and I have one box at the control side. There are many radios you can actually have, like I do, which I have a control, you know, panel and the radio body, which the body it's up in Ridgefield. There are a few radios like for example Yezu makes the FT2000, uh, Electroff makes the K3 radio which you can actually have the radio at the side and you can have another radio at your operating uh, position and you can have a feel of the radio. Pretty much you know this I choose the Kenwood because uh, um, on the reviews, you know, for the controlling, they said that that's the easiest and the, you know, most common used radio for the remote control. Sorry, Adam, which one is that now? This is Kenwood TS480. How, how are you, communi communica are you communicating through the internet or are you communicating through radio? I am, uh, I am actually, this box is connected to internet and, okay. via, and via internet it, it talks to the radio in Richfield, and okay. from Richfield, I'm just, okay. I'm just, you know, uh, transmitting, you know, broadcasting, you know, uh, all over the world. Gotcha. Now, can you turn your antenna from here too? Oh yes, yes. I'm going to show you know everybody, you know how this works. Now, this, you know, it can work, you know, from the Ethernet port, okay, and also you can use as a hotspot from your phone, okay. So you can use the iPhone. You can use a hotspot, and there is a wireless, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Wi-Fi, you know, uh, uh, board, you know, inside. So it, it talks, you know, from takes the internet from the phone and to the box, and I can pretty much, you know, broadcast from anywhere I want. I really need the 12 volt, you know, supply, which can be supplied from the from the simple, you know, battery. My radio. It's it, it, my my whole installation is pretty much all set except one thing, which I two things I have to still do it because I still have to connect the CW. I have to um, set up uh, because I I have to you know uh, set the ports to transmit from the radio to the box and from and and from the my uh, radio box to to the radio to key up, and the other I have to connect. I would like to connect the radio. Via the serial port, so I can use the ham radio deluxe, and this way I can use at my control site. I can use the logging program. This way, it's going to read the frequency and everything. So, uh, so that's uh, pretty much about the the radio. Um, this w w w what's this? What's really that little box you know does? It's make a little you know tunnel through the internet to connect. So this box knows. It has to reach the box, you know, on the other side. It's going to look for this box, and and as long as there is the internet and the power on the other side, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to communicate. Uh, for controlling the, for, for controlling the, um, the other devices, because I have to control pretty much a few devices, I'm using the uh, web switches, which the remote rigs makes uh, too. This uh, I'm I'm searching, you know, uh, like any any website you are searching, you know, typing. So uh, I'm typing, you know, my uh, my uh, uh, my domain name, and and then you know I'm reaching my my uh, 
this is the actually it's the amplifier okay and what it does you know I'm turning on the power okay this is the main power okay and this is the switch for the amplifier the amplifier it's gonna show you know how much power I'm putting on what is reflected power what's the frequency and the temperature of the of the amplifier now there are options you know of using full power and a half power which is 1 kW and a 500 watts this is a, a operate and a standby so let's put this on standby for now okay and then I'm gonna show how my antenna is working this is another you know um, device I'm controlling so this is a step by your antenna okay so that little box I just show everybody a few minutes ago right here okay uh, not here this is the step by our controller so um, my 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 uh, you know uh, website it's gonna turn this box you know on and another you know device it's gonna turn the uh, controller on so uh, I'm gonna do this from here so I'm gonna turn the power on okay and it's gonna show my last you know position okay and right now the antenna is tuning there is a little you know red you know button once I turn the dial on the radio it's gonna send the signal to my antenna and it's gonna tune the antenna to the frequency I'm gonna use okay those you know options over here this is a normal which means I'm beaming you know to the point of my uh, to the direction of my where my you know rotator is pointed I can turn the antenna electro electrically 180 degrees you know so pretty much I can point you know towards east and I can without turning the antenna I can point towards west within about 30 seconds okay not even and this one it's bidirectional pretty much I can beam you know in both directions which is going to be less you know uh, power this is a serial connection which uh, this you know button it's kind of you know switch um, the, the, the frequency controlling frequency from my radio and this button it's the calibration of the antenna because for some reason if it's the, the power it's going to be cut for the antenna antenna is going to lose the last position so in order to do this I have to calibrate the antenna so I'm going to hit the button and then antenna it's going to it's going to retract and it's going to fold you know find the positions and right here retract this is the button I can use for pretty much the homing what's called homing down the elements the elements in the fiber glass tube which for the you know 20 meters they are about you know 36 37 feet you know long if it's going to be some uh, windy day or any storm or uh, I mean even if it's going to be a, any lightning around the area I can take those elements and put inside those boxes so pretty much technically I can roll down my antenna from here and this you know it's used for the um, tune the antenna manually which I have to you know uh, you know click on this and then you know I can I can tune the SWR on the antenna uh, using you know with those you know little you know arrows so right now the antenna it's on let's move to the next step this is another you know uh, web switch which I'm using for the antenna it has a relays okay I can control the five things you know which I'm using only one relay so I'm gonna set the um, I'm gonna turn the the controller which you saw in the pictures before and I'm gonna hit the rotator and rotator it's right here this is showing my position of my antenna up in up in Ridgefield these are my preset for you know for um, it's like 12 you know position I can preset because um, it's more easier I can hit Europe and antenna is gonna hit, uh, turn to Europe so right now I'm gonna hit Europe and what it does it's gonna just turn this antenna and stop you know where it was just you know actually um, you know set and this gives me the option I can hit um, 180 degrees hit go and I can I can turn my antenna 
180 degrees and it's going to be go. Those two buttons on the bottom, it says clockwise and counterclockwise, which I can use, you know, manually uh, holding the arrow on a computer or I can, I can even do, you know, on my iPhone, I can control those devices on my iPhone and I can turn everything, you know, I pretty much I need. Um, so that's pretty much uh, from the setup. Um, and on the, on, the, on the left side, there are settings for this, uh, for all the devices I can, um, you know, I can set the, to control, you know, the, um, the temperature and uh, in the room, you know, uh, um, you know, I'm having all those devices. It's, there are a few, you know, things I can, I can do, you know, remotely. And I can even, you know, control the radio from, from here. I can access the radio, actually, what just I want to say, because... This is my radio website, and these are my settings on the radio. I can, I can set all the settings on the radio, which radio, which which radio I am using, and and and, I, and there are a few serial ports I can use the, for the different you know devices. So pretty much you know I can I can even upgrade the um, the f firmware for the for the each device. So. Um, I don't have to drive actually to my remote site to download the latest, you know, uh, you know, firm, firmware for the for each, you know, device. I can I can upgrade, you know, from my home, you know, and I can download it and upgrade it. So that's really pretty much, you know, how is it um, for for um, so. Now I'm gonna turn the radio to show everybody. I'm, I'm using this from the hotspot from from the iPhone because uh, there are two ways of Ethernet, uh, you know, real connection to internet or the hotspot. So you, could you do this through the computer, or you have to have an iPhone? I can. Uh, what the the, well, the you connection? You showed us all the software on the computer, but now you're using the iPhone. So it's can you do what you're doing on the computer? Yes. It's only using the iPhone to connect to the internet. Right oh, now, because iPhone. there is an Ethernet port. I don't need oh. this unless you have the internet on the wall. I can. I yeah, can. I, I got you. I connected you. You're connected. But how? How I can? Uh, you're there. You're, you're in there. Oh, but this box, this box, oh, box. Okay. this box, I have to preset for this, you know, Wi-Fi, oh, okay. which, 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 you know, which isn't set. Okay. You know, this box I, I set for my, you know, iPhone. I can put a okay. few, you know, Wi-Fi so they can look, you know, for it. So right now there is a radio, so you can have a feel, and this radio. Right now, let's say, you know, look for some station. So I'm using the, um, this is, uh, there is a Rodriguez Island, which is on the east coast of Africa, okay? And this is at, at 1495, okay? So right now, I'm going to look, uh, I'm going to look. We don't want a <laughs> We, um, whew. Anyway, um, Rodriguez Island, it's going to be uh, about, uh, because, you know, I, I'm not, you know, logged to the QRZ <laughs> website. But anyway, this is easy to check, you know, from my, you know, uh, location, what's going to be the uh, set for the antenna. But anyway, it's about uh, 78 uh, degrees. So I'm going to, you know, put the, so I'm going to put the, the antenna at 78 degrees. So it's going to look, you know, east, okay. And we're going to tune to the one uh, fourteen one ninety five.
is gonna show you know how much power I am putting because the amplifier it's on okay so I'm ready to go to call the station whatever you know they are a whiskey one alpha sierra bravo a whiskey one alpha sierra bravo there is a big you know pile up this is rodriguez island uh, it's pretty much it's it's in the east of the madagascar of the you know east africa Whiskey One Alpha Sierra Bravo. Whiskey One Alpha Sierra Bravo. This is Whiskey One Alpha Sierra Bravo. Over. Oh, Roger, Roger. You're 59 in Connecticut, and my name is Adam Alpha Delta Alpha Mike. And actually, I am present. 